My name is Luke. I'm 12 years old, and I want to know um, how accurate was the movie Titanic. Hello, my name is Kathy Offinger. I'm sitting here at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution on Cape Cod in Massachusetts, where I'm manager of operations for the Deep Submergence Laboratory. I was fortunate enough to be on the Discovery Cruise in 1985 of the RMS Titanic. Many people ask me what I think of the Hollywood movie of Titanic, and I have to say I thought it was very, very well done. I enjoyed it, and for so many years after thinking about the Titanic as a wreck and as a wreck site, it was really wonderful to see such a uh, true rendition of the ship created as it was before it became a wreck. Uh, as far as we can tell, the, the producers of the Titanic movie did a fastidious job of researching all the details of the construction of the ship so that what you see in that movie really is what the Titanic uh, looked like before she met up with that infamous iceberg. Also in the movie, the the scenes of the wreck were, are, those are the actual wreck site. That is the actual wreck site, and those are, are real images of what the Titanic looks like today. As believable as seeing the ship was in the movie Titanic, I think everybody knows that the story about Rose and Jack was a Hollywood story. However, we've received numerous letters from people asking if we ever found Rose's necklace that she threw over at the end of the movie, and I would have to say no, we did not find the necklace. <laughs>